hello everyone welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains so last class we have discussed in the last video we have discussed about the custom module so how to create a custom module and how to call a files and we also discuss how to create uh, I mean how to use the core modules of node.js okay so in this video we're going to discuss about how to mix both of them together okay so let's have a look um, so here um, I close it let's do one thing mix the custom module and the core module okay so i create new folder so 0 5 hyphen node.js hyphen uh, custom and core modules okay so node.js custom as well as core modules together okay so here i'll take uh, on javascript file app and uh, okay this is main app.js and in this i will create one folder called uh, database folder in database folder i have uh, um, i created data, uh, one more folder called store so in the store i need to have one json file okay so I have downloaded one JSON file from uh, uh, Mongo, I mean, sorry, Mokaru website. Let me copy that and I paste in the store. Uh, one meta, let me copy that and paste it in the store. Sorry, not store. Sorry, copy this. Paste in the store. Yeah, let's make employees.json. Okay. So here, see database folder store i have employees.json file okay so along with this json file i have another file called new javascript that is for uh, data store okay so i have a file called data store and one json file over here so what you do is here I create a function so let's get all employees is equal to one arrow function okay there is a function so this function what it does is it is going to read all the file content from this JSON file and gives you back whoever call this function okay so to read to read the JSON file we need to call I mean we need to use the fs module and path modules let's do that here um, constants fs is equal to require fs and uh, constant path is equal to require path I have two modules so let's do fs dot um, write file fs dot read file okay fs dot read file of uh, path so what is doing is path dot join path dot join uh, underscore underscore directory name and what is the folder uh, no folder directly file name that is employees dot json and uh, comma utf h and one uh, callback so this callback will have uh, two things one is error and data so what i do is uh, if any error just throw the error and uh, let's do console.log of data okay so whoever call this function that uh, will just prints console.log of data but how to call this function is you need to um, call this means you have to export it and you have to import it here so how to export we know uh, global variable called module dot exports is equal to get all employees so let's make an object kind of object with get all employees perfect so i have uh, declared a function and i have exported and let's import that in app.js so back to app.js so constant um, I say store 
uh, store is equal to require so it's a custom module so how to import is dot slash database folder slash store slash data store dot js okay so let's do uh, let me call a function call function so how to call a function so let's say store dot get all employees okay so whenever i call this that will read from the file and then prints on a console uh, but this data i don't want to print just like a string i have to convert back to an array so let's employees is equal to json dot parse parse of data okay now i'm gonna print directly the employees okay perfect so this logic is there in some other file and i'm calling it from here okay go back to the command prompt and i have to switch to where file number five so cd space dot dot enter and then uh, cd space zero five tab enter and cls for clear the window and let's say node space app because this mine app.js is main app file enter so you got the whole file content okay so now what i do is i don't want to print just console.log here i want to catch this data here okay so that i can pass it to someone else okay so how to get that data can i say return employees okay so this function return employees so let me catch up that employees here can i say let employee list is equal to store dot get employees and then uh, console dot log of employee list okay so let's check go back here if i run you get undefined so why you got undefined is uh, see uh, why you got undefined here is no written type here because uh, this one you can't return this data because it is inside of this callback function okay so instead of uh, doing written i'm i'm going to use one more callback so what i do is let's do a callback function here as a parameter okay so what you do is instead of written i'll use callback of employees so whatever the employees you read just call them up to a function to so whatever the function you will receive so that function you pass it on those employees okay so you can catch them here so call back of employees you pass it so how to call is you need to pass a function over there so what i do is instead of doing this much so store dot get employees here you will be having a callback function okay see you have a callback function that gives you employees so i have uh, employees as a parameter because i am passing that and now i say console log console dot log of employees okay so please see here there is no console log here it only passing it back and that i catch it and then print it now go back here i run the program see now i can able to catch hold of that data in my application okay or else you can return the promise also from here and you can uh, you know you can use uh, you can call the promise and get data or else uh, what you can do is uh, you can use async await to get the data as well okay so i got this employees now so these employees i wanted to store into some other file okay so what file is see here i create one folder called uh, util folder in that i create new um, javascript utility.js okay so what this utility.js does is it will take the file name and the content it will create okay so i'll do is i create a separate function write write to file okay my own uh, function is equal to one arrow function here what i'm doing is you just need to give the file name what is the file name you wanted to create and what is the data so you just tell me the file name and data i will create that file okay so how to create is you need to have again 
constant fs is equal to require uh, fs module and also constant path is equal to require the path module you have both modules so now what you do is um, let's say fs dot write to file and inside you get to give the path so let's give the file name as it is as a path and the data what you what data you have passed and uh, utf8 and one callback okay and this callback is having error as a parameter so if any error just throw the error and finally just confirmation console.log of data stored to a file okay fine and then um, what i do is export so module dot exports is equal to an object here i have to give write to file okay so in some other utility.js i have uh, one function and that i have exported so what this function does it takes the file name and data add to the that file this data add to that file okay so let's use of this function in my app.js so how to import that here you can just say constant util is equal to require uh, dot slash util folder slash utility.js okay fine so i got this employees and uh, i need to have a file name so file name is equal to um, customers customers.json okay that's my file name so let me call uh, util dot write file from here so let's say util dot write to file we have to give the file name and data data i want to convert to string format so json dot stringify of employees okay fine and then uh, i don't need a console that log here so store dot get employees i got the data and that employees i am pushing to the this thing and here itself we have a console dot log data store to a file and please check we don't have any customers dot json here so let me run the program back to here uh, node so data stored to a file so back to here in util uh, sorry uh, we just given only file name no no path so it creates in the main application folder customers.json yes in this we have a data okay so this is actually a simple example where you can use the custom modules with the core modules okay so if this enough okay uh, uh, we can understand what uh, how, to, how to call a functions and export so try to explore something more with these examples and uh, in the next video let's start with the beautiful uh, third party modules okay so we have uh, huge third party modules like a uh, uh, to hash password to convert the password to you know hash it password to generate the token token based authentication system and to generate some unique id and to get some uh, proper dates format like moment js like huge set of modules available so let's see the uh, npm modules in the next video thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel and we'll meet in the next video thank you